Hey guys, in this video, I wanna share a cool article with you from Investor Place about Open Door. It came out about a week ago. It, it talks about why this person thinks that Open Door right now is severely undervalued based on the prices right now. So stick around. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me for another video. I'm Richard Allen. We talk about stocks on this channel and Open Door is one of my favorite. Now, this is a company that just went public via a reverse merger with a SPAC. The SPAC was IPOB, and it went on a crazy run. We've been talking about IPOB for months. We've only been making videos for months, but I really, really, really like this opportunity. I, I think that Open Door could change the real estate game forever. And, and that may, may be a bold statement, but I think they're ahead of the curve in the eye buying scene, but they're also going to be offering a ton of services, okay? I have a playlist of Open Door on my channel that you can go back and watch all my Open Door videos, okay? It, it, because there's a lot of information out there about this company. They have some patented technology that they're working on that I've shared with, with some of you guys and some of the creators that watch this channel. Um, there is a lot that Open Door offers to the, the market that companies like Zillow and Redfin and, and um, some of their other competitors don't offer. So that's why I'm so bullish on Open Door. Now, Open Door recently has had a pullback in the share price. It happens with every SPAC, almost every SPAC, right? And, and every stock, eventually there's a correction. But if, if you believe in a company long-term and they have good fundamentals and decent revenue and on and on and on, a, a correction can be a buying opportunity, right? Sometimes a correction can be a sign of things to come, but, but in regards to Open Door, I don't think that's the case. I think this next year for Open Door is going to be massive. I think it's going to be huge. So in this article, um, th this person talks about why they think Open Door right now is undervalued. Let's go over the share price real quick. So. Um, the day after they went public, we got to a high of $32.12, okay? Before dropping down over the last week, all the way down at one point to a low of $22.05. So that was a big correction, guys. That was a big correction. So now we're starting on that uptrend again. Now, this is normal with SPACs. We've talked about that, guys. This is normal, this type of price action. So. I think we're going on the uptrend. We could see obviously a little bit more of a correction, but I think this, this company could easily double this year, but they will probably more than double this year. That's what I'm banking on with Open Door. But obviously I could be wrong. Um, I've, there's a, there's a long-term price horizon. I mean, it's, th this, this company could be worth hundreds of billions of dollars, and I'm not exaggerating. Um, but, and I think that's what some of these pipe investors, Shamath Palihapitiya, some of these genius investors are betting on with Open Door that it's going to be worth hundreds of billions of dollars someday. Um, but obviously we could be wrong. We could be wrong, right? So let's jump back over to this article. This first statement right here. I now believe that the stock is still severely undervalued and is worth at least 161% above the price it was on December 18th or 77.19 per share. So on December 18th, it was right around $30 per share, okay? Um, and, and right now, it's $24 per share. So we're looking at a potential upside based on what, what this article is saying of like 200%. So just, just keep that in mind. And that, that's like right now, and we're gonna talk about, he's gonna, he's gonna talk about why he thinks this in a second, okay? So the new shares and related warrants will start trading on the NASDAQ on Monday, December 21st under the symbol OPEN. We know this already, right? It is highly likely open stock will rise close to its forecast value over the next week or several weeks. Now, so he's thinking that this is going to jump to 70 some dollars per share over the next few weeks. I mean, that, that's bold. I don't know if that's going to happen, but I think it could certainly double this year, okay? It says, you can see my reasoning why it's worth so much more by reading my previous article on IPOB stock, now open stock, on October 21st. At that time, it was trading at $21.48 per share, but as of Friday's close, the stock was at $29.50 per share, up 37%. However, I showed at the time in my article that open stock was worth at least 100% more, or $45 per share, 
Therefore, even though open stock was at $29.50 on December 18th, it was still worth 55% more. So this guy is super, super, super bullish. But now I wanna update you on this analysis so that you can see how it should be valued going forward. Open Door Labs buys real estate and then repairs and resells the properties. It started losing money during the COVID-19 pandemic outbreak, so it decided to raise capital by going public with this SPAC deal. So the next section, what Open Door Technologies is worth. First, we have to establish what the market capitalization is after the merger. Fortunately, the company filed an 8K report on December 18th that stated on page two, there are now 544 million shares outstanding. There are also 19 million shares outstanding that have the right to buy open stock by paying just 1150 per share. So those are the warrants, right? Therefore, at the closing price on Friday of 2950, the market cap for open stock is $16.06 .06 billion. The warrants are clearly in the money and I expect that they will convert into shares over the next year or earlier. This will bring an additional 229 million to Open Door Technologies. In addition, Open Door received cash at the closing, both from IPOB and, pipe, and a pipe investment. As a result, based on Exhibit 99, the SEC filing on December 18th, Open Door has 1.25 billion in net cash after deducting cash liabilities. Therefore, to find the enterprise value, we deduct the net cash from the market cap. This means that the enterprise value is now just under $15 billion. Comparison with Zillow. So here's where it gets kind of juicy, I love it, love it. Here is why that is important. On page 39 of the original slide presentation, so Open Door indicates it expects to make 3.5 billion in revenue. This is 2021, but it's actually 2020, and 6.2 billion in revenue in 2021. That means the EV to sales ratio is just 2.4 times, 14.9 billion, EV divided by 6.2 billion in 2021 sales. Now compare this figure to Zillow, which also buys pieces of real estate en masse and fixes them up for resale. For example, Zillow now has a market cap of 31.79 billion and an enterprise value of 30 billion. As its forecast 2021 sales are 4.79 billion, its EV to sales multiple is 6.28 times. So here we have a situation where Open Door has a forward multiple of 2.4x and Zillow has a metric of 6.28 times. This implies that Open Door stock is worth at least 161% more. To be even clearer, this means the fair value for Open Stock is 2.61 times its December 18th price of 29.50. And right now, right now, Open Door is trading under $24 per share. Like even if it dips a little bit more, these numbers are very compelling. These are very, very compelling. So he goes on to talk about, and moreover, you can also determine if there is any more upside left in the stock price. Its fair value is $77.19. This can help you judge whether to buy or not. Because you guys are gonna ask, is it still a buy? Absolutely it's still a buy. Based on multiples of sales, guys, this is, in my mind is severely undervalued right now, right? It, it, it really is based on multiples of revenue. I don't know, I, I, I feel like this is an absolute no brainer right now. Even if you are bullish on the idea that Open Door will change the real estate industry, even if you're not thinking that far out, this could be a really good opportunity to get in on a stock and, and make some quick money. It really could be. But you obviously have to make that decision on your own this can be part of your research, but please don't make it all of your research. This is for, as I keep saying, mildly entertaining purposes only, okay? It's just, just a guy on YouTube, not an expert. I don't have a Tesla cat or a Neo cat. We're getting a dog soon, which is really exciting. And she's so cute, she's so cute. We're getting her at the end of, uh, the end of next month and I'm really, really excited. Little Silver Lab, we haven't named her yet but we're getting her, she's so adorable. Adorable, adorable. Um, yeah, so uh, speaking of, the next video that you're gonna probably see from me today is going to be a video on a new SPAC that could be the next Chewy. So if you know dogs and pets and stuff like that, it could be a little different SPAC than you're used to. I, I, I feel like we're all getting EV SPAC fatigue, right? And tech SPAC fatigue. 
and maybe I'm wrong, um, but it's something that's a little bit different that I'm really excited to share with you that um, has some, uh, some really good value and really good potential over the next few years. So that's what we're gonna talk about in the next video. If you guys are interested uh, to, to talk with us directly in the Discord, um, it's exclusive to patron members only. So uh, if, you, if you're interested in that, there's a link down in the description. It's a really cool community already. Uh, there's a bunch of us over there and it's a really, really exciting. A lot of great investors. Um, I'm already learning a lot um, from them. And uh, yeah, I would love to have you join as well. So let me know if you're interested in that. As always, if you didn't already do it, click that beautiful red subscribe button down below and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks. <laughs>